It's time to play America Says! And here to fill in the blanks, President Barack Obama! Welcome back to America Says, a game show that captures the truth about what America wants. Today, the Democrats will be playing against the Republicans for a chance to expose the truth. All right, we asked America, the Biden family should be investigated for what? Top seven answers, and go! Um, let me see here. Um, gas stoves? Oh, gosh, I got a, I got a massive hangover here. Um, is it, um, for being the best family ever? Oh, man, I'm horrible at this game. Um, is it honesty? Um, for telling the truth? Hmm, let me see. Um, is it gas stoves? For loving America too much? <laughs> uh... Putting America first? Um, for exposing the truth? And time. <laughs> Boy, you guys did great. Well, I am pretty smart. So is this open bar here? It smells like poop. I used to be a bartender. Are we going to stay at the standard My hotel? Are coming out. Nancy, did you poop? Well, it's wet. and pasta, please. All right, Republicans. It's up to you. Oh, Jay Willikers, I'm horrible at this. Um, is it for telling the truth? Uh, is it for being awesome? Oh, is it for being the nicest person that anyone's ever met? Uh, let's see here, uh, tax evasion, Ukraine, China, money laundering, wire fraud, and, um, classified documents. I'm sorry, that's not correct. What? Got them all wrong. All right, people, let's go to our lightning round. We asked America, a vice president cannot declassify documents. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. What? We asked America. Hunter and Joe belong in prison. Nope, I'm sorry that's wrong. What? Thanks for playing. Good night, folks. <laughs> hey, Bill. Yeah? Look at this. <laughs> Look at it. Hey, where'd you get that? Give it back to me. No. You better give it back, you fart knocker. I give it back, but you gotta do what I say. You hear that, America? I'm the victim. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. A tale of a Hollywood pimp who serves lots of movie stars and politicians. Camellia tried to hide it with their evil smiling lies, which is lame and lips in shoes. The billionaire and Monica Sky. The movie stars, Prince Andrew and Jill's husband, here on Epstein. <laughs> Hey, uh, 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 ghost of Jeffrey Epstein, um, uh, where you been? Just been hanging around. <laughs> so, uh, what can a guy like me do for fun around here? I think you'll find something to do. Damn! How old is she? I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. Excuse me, have you seen my husband? Who's your husband? You don't know my husband, Bill? He's been here like 26 times. Sorry, I have no idea what goes on here. I know what goes on here. Me too. Me too. <laughs> oh, I tell you, a guy like me can really get some thinking done on an island like this. Just look at this brand new electric car I just made. Hey, Christopher. Yeah? You still got that evidence on me? What evidence? <laughs> I owe Jeffrey some favors. <laughs> I'm here because I'm being blackmailed. Hey, hey La Baba? Yep. Hey, is that Durham report going to get us in trouble? I'm not too worried about it. You're not? Nope, not at all. Well, why not? Well, it's simple. We're above the law. <laughs> we are? Yeah, I mean, have you been paying attention to any of this, Joe? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just say what you tell me to say. And that's why we picked you. So let me get this straight. Okay. You impeach Nixon for breaking into the DNC. Yep. You impeach my husband for breaking into Monica. Uh-huh. You impeach Trump for the lies that we made up. You got it. And we get away scot-free? Well, it's not like the Republicans are going to do anything about it. Now, that's what I call justice. Nice shot, Joe. Hey, thanks. <laughs> uh, by the year 2024, everybody's going to have a Joe Biden car. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it's going to be made and sold only in America. Um, Joe? Yeah? Where, where are you going to get your batteries? Huh? Where do you think lithium comes from, genius? Oh, damn it. Well, I'll have to get the batteries from China, but I'll sell the batteries in America. <laughs> People, listen. Never mind the impeachment of Biden and all the weapons and money he's given to Ukraine. Forget about Hunter, Obama, and Hillary and the Durham report. Ignore Pelosi's insider trading. Stop thinking about Adam Schiff and Epstein's client list. Stop focusing on election fraud. And don't even give AOC breaking ethics rules a second thought. They focused on me. I'm the new distraction. You know, if people stopped being poor, groceries and gas wouldn't be that expensive.
<laughs> well, they almost got him. Uh, again? <laughs> Until Trump is arrested! <laughs> Pitch phony flag! Bad again! Bad again! Bad again! Oh, this can't be true! We worked so hard this time! <laughs> now everybody's gonna wanna date me! Another criminal just gets away with it! Oh man, I'm so mad right now, I can just jump on a plane and fly to Amsterdam Island! This is truly the darkest day in American history! We can't give up! I'm gonna stop eating until Trump is arrested! Oh, come on, man! You're just gonna let another criminal walk free! I'll never stop trying! I'll never give up! That's it! I'm writing another book! <laughs> this isn't over. We'll get him next time. <laughs> well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> Welcome back to the People Against Donald Trump, sponsored by George Soros. <laughs> so, what do you think is going to happen today? Well, I, I think a lot of people are going to be uh, for, for, uh, for, forgetting about everything that me and Hunter haven't been arrested for. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Let's go to the courtroom. Your Honor, we the jury find Donald Trump guilty of all charges. Oh, damn it! Y'all ain't supposed to say that until after the show! Sorry, read your scripts, people! Psst. Hey, Stormy. Did you get that money I sent you? Highly respected adult film star Stormy Daniels, do you swear to read the script, the whole script, and nothing but the script that we provided for you? Uh, Stormy, please don't uh, suck the microphone! Sorry. Yeah, I swear. Uh, as long as I get paid. District Attorney Bragg, call your first witness! <laughs> Hang on! I gotta hide a couple hundred pages of evidence! Guilty! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that yet! Proceed! Hey, hey, hey! I called twice impeached and that my president Donald Trump to the stand. Mr. Trump! Yeah? Is it true you gave $130,000 to a respectable, trustworthy adult film star? No. No, I didn't. Hey, hey, hey! May I remind you that you are under oath? May I remind you that you and the rest of your Soros-funded goons are gonna be in jail real soon? Bailiff! Take Trump to prison! Oh, sorry about that. I ain't supposed to say that yet. Hey, hey, hey! Your Honor, I call highly respected future president Michael Avenetti to the stand. Hello, President Avenetti! Hey, everybody. Hey, Stormy. I miss you. Can you ever forgive me? Wait a minute. You're gonna believe a guy who's serving 14 years for fraud and identity theft over a former president? Hey, there is no one more trustworthy than a convicted felon! Ain't that right, Michael Cohen? It's true! Mr. Trump! Yeah? Are you guilty of the crime you're being indicted for? No! I don't even know what I'm being indicted for! Hey, hey, hey! Neither do I! But I was thinking something! You going down, Trump! Ain't nothing more important than putting you in jail! What about the crime wave in New York? I don't care about that! I only care about putting you in jail! Hey, hey, hey! Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, who are you gonna believe? A former president of the United States? Or a highly respectable, family-friendly porn star? There ain't nobody more credible than a family-friendly porn star! Hey, hey, hey! I rest my case. I find the criminal guilty of all charges. What charges? Whatever charges I say you're guilty of. What? Donald Trump, you're here by sentence to life in prison. All right, everybody, take a seat. Let's get started. Nancy? Yes? Would you like to start the group? Sure. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Nancy. Hi, hey, Nancy. Tara. And, uh, I'm a Trumpaholic. Me yeah, me too. too. <laughs> Let us begin. With our group prayer. Oh, oh heavenly China, grant us the liberty to arrest Donald Trump. The courage to keep trying to arrest Donald Trump. 
And it's wisdom. wisdom. To to almost almost get get next time. Time. <laughs> hey, woman. That was lovely. All right, everybody. What should we be focusing on today? We can focus on how Bill paid Paula Jones $850,000 to go away. Or we can focus on Seth Rich and your emails. We can focus on Epstein's client list and flight logs. How about we focus on Vince Foster and how Hillary used campaign money? Guys, guys, let's remember why we're here, all right? This isn't your fault, and it's not our fault. This is all Trump's fault, That's right? That's true. That's why we're here. Yep. Maybe we can focus on World War III. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's Trump's fault. Why don't we focus on the violent crime increase? Oh, never mind. That's Trump's fault, too. <laughs> Good idea. Make it work. I was going to say we could focus on inflation, but... That's all Trump's fault. Yeah, yeah I, I was gonna recommend that we uh, uh, that we that, that we focus on the dirty Biden, China, and Ukraine dealings, but that, that's all Trump's fault. I, I was gonna say we could be focused on Hunter's laptop, but that's Trump's fault. Well, I was gonna say like we should focus on the cartel crisis, but that's all Trump's fault too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we should be focusing on the overdose crisis and the open border, but that's all Trump's fault. I got it. Why don't we focus on arresting Trump for allegedly paying Stormy Daniels $130,000 before he even ran for office? Way to go, Nancy! You did it! Now let's go arrest that son of a bitch. <laughs> Welcome to Term Limits Retirement Home, starring house drinker Nancy, Crazy Maxine, Moldy Pants Sanders, Prune Juice Soros, also starring Sneaky Diane, Shower Time Joe, Fossil Fuel Grassley, Instagram Model Schwab, Moscow Mitch, and Potato Head Fetterman. All right, guys, we really need to come up with a plan to, um... Arrest Donald Trump. Page 45! What about the Stormy Daniels thing? No, we, we already tried that. It, it, it didn't work. What about his tax returns? That that didn't work either. <laughs> we can go dress shopping. How, how is dress shopping going to get Trump arrested? I don't know, but I can try on dresses. Anybody else? What about Russia, Russia, Russia? No, we, we tried that too. It, it, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess we could give that a try, John. <laughs> what if we impeached him? Peach 45! We already did that. <laughs> Twice. Didn't work. <laughs> and two pinks are just as smart and just as talented as cucumbers. I think it's time for Joe's nap. <laughs> Here at Term Limits Retirement Home, things can get a little crazy. We gotta find a way to arrest Donald Trump. I know, Nancy. They think they're still in power. But we won't tell if you don't. After I go dress shopping, I'm going to start a new world order. Everybody is under my control. At Term Limits Retirement Home, you can rest easy knowing that your senile, corrupt former politician is in good hands. Hey, hey Bernie. Yeah? You, you want some stock tips? Stock <laughs> tips should be free! All right, Joe. It's time for your sponge bath. Uh, all right, Ashley's here. Uh, Where's she at? Will you take me to a shopping? <laughs> Here at Term Limits Retirement Home, I still feel like a politician. Even though I'm not! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Paul never clips my nails. He's got no idea how to treat a real woman. <laughs> he just teases me, walking around in his underwear, holding a hammer. <laughs> You're doing it wrong! Come on, Joe! Sit still! Oh, Ashley's the only one that knows how to give me a sponge bath! I can count to potato! But do you want you to mom? All in favor of arresting Donald Trump, say aye. Aye! At Term Limits Retirement Home, we give corrupt, senile former politicians a second chance at pretending to control America. Hey, uh, 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 where are we going? We're going for a long ride, Joe. Yeah, a long ride. Uh, <laughs> can we stop for some ice cream? No, no, no oh, ice come cream on, for man, you. Please. No, no ice cream please. for you. I said no. And don't ask me again. Oh, come on, man. One more word out of you and we'll turn this car right around. Hey, are we there yet? No. I, I gotta go to the bathroom. Go in your diaper. <laughs> 
Alright. Oh, it stinks in here! <laughs> Come on, man! I just want some ice cream! You stop crying! Or I'll give you something to cry about! Come on, man, please! I promise I won't ask for nothing else! Oh, if we stop for ice cream, what will you do for us? Yes! What will you do for us? Uh, anything you want, man! Just, just name it and it's yours! Anything we want? Yeah, man! Whatever you want! All you gotta do is say it! We, we want, want America. America! You want America? Yes, America! So do we have a deal? Of course we got a deal! Hey, Joe! Yeah? Can you hand me one of my spy balloons, please? Yeah, where is it's it? It's my hunter's laptop! <laughs> All right, hang on. <laughs> oh, what the hell, man? Oh, that smells like Nancy Pelosi! <laughs> <laughs> Roll up the window! <laughs> Get me out of here, man! I can't breathe! I at least crack the window! <laughs> <laughs> now you and your son are both addicted to crack! <laughs> oh, man, it stinks so bad! Oh, man! This building behind me used to be a pizza hut, but now it's a tax service. But this tax service isn't trying to be a pizza hut anymore. Because the moment this tax service decided it wasn't a pizza hut, it wasn't. That is science. It was built to be a pizza hut, but deep down, it always felt like a tax service. And no matter how much you racist yell, that used to be a pizza hut, it's not. It is now a tax service, and it will never be a pizza hut again. You walk inside and it's a tax office, not a pizza parlor. There's no greasy Pac-Man joystick, no pepperoni, no plastic red cups. Just a tax office. Are you gonna order a pizza in a tax office? No, you can't do that. It's absurd. Are you gonna scream at the accountants and tell them they used to be pizza makers? <laughs> accountants can't make pizza! This pizza hut woke up one morning and decided, I don't want to be a pizza hut anymore. So it stopped being Pizza Hut and started being tax service. So what did we learn today, boys and girls? Just because it looks like a Pizza Hut doesn't mean it is. <laughs> Good night, peasants. So, um, what's been going on? Uh, <laughs> not much. Uh, Michelle just made some corn dogs. Oh, I love corn dogs. Oh, yeah, Michelle <laughs> loves them too. Hey, I brushed my teeth with barbecue sauce this morning. <laughs> I think I'll FaceTime Terry. So how is uh, Ukraine doing? Uh, <laughs> they need more money. Yep. Well... What are you waiting for? Give it to him! Well, well what about America? What? <laughs> what? That's a good one, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, it's too early for jokes, okay? Hey, where am I? I got a hangover, Christ's sake. Uh, sorry about that, Nancy. I thought you were being serious. <laughs> wow! Would you just listen to all them horns? Hello? What's up? What's up? He's not Putin. Hey, is this Jake from State Farm? No. Well, I, I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Do you have my check, Joe? Check? You, you mean like french fries? I'll be over to get my money soon. Well, would, would you be willing to take a brief survey after this call? I really need those five stars. We're sorry. Hello? You have reached a number Hello? that has been disconnected or is no longer... That must have been a wrong number. Hey, where are you taking me? To give money to the president of Ukraine. Hey, I, I'm not calling him dad. Even if there's a fire! Well, will you call him dad for some ice cream? I I'll call anybody dad for ice cream! I know, Joe! Where's my check? Uh, 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 right, right here, dad! I'm gonna need more money after this! Alright, dad, I anything you want! I know, I know! Alright, I called him dad! Can we go get ice cream now? Yeah, Joe! We can go get ice cream! <laughs> Man, after all this, I, I need a vacation! So I was thinking about showing everybody my tax returns. What? What? I'm kidding, Chuck. <laughs> that was a good one, uh, Nancy. You got me, Nancy. Yeah, I started using lettuce to wipe my butt instead of toilet paper today, so... So, um, so... <laughs> yeah? Where, where are you going on vacation? Uh, somewhere sunny like New York. New York? Yeah, what's wrong with New York? New York is freezing right now, Joe. Yeah, Joe yeah. hates cold weather. Everything shrinks. Well, I <laughs> guess I'll ask Tara Reed to go to St. Claude with me then. Joe, <laughs> this is like your 40th vacation this year. Yeah, well, <laughs> I taught him well. Yeah, after all my hard work, I thought I could go somewhere and relax. How you doing, buddy? Oh, shit. Hey, Tucker! What are you guys doing here? Hey, we were in the neighborhood and thought we'd come by and say hello! Hi! Hi! That was some show you put on last night. Wasn't that a good show, Chuck? Yeah, my favorite part is when you called us all liars! Yeah, that was my favorite part, too! Well, I'm glad you liked the show. <laughs> Speaking of the show, I've got to get ready to do part two. Well, you see, that's why we're here. Yeah, you're not going to do the show tonight. What? Tucker, why do you think we're all liars? Look, guys, I I'm just a guy who reads a script. And I'm just a guy with a 7% approval rating who keeps getting reelected. 
<laughs> Guys, I, I don't want any problems, okay? Well, you're not going to have any problems, buddy. Well, that's good to hear. Because you're not doing the show. I, I got to do my show. It's my job. And this is our job. <laughs> I, I can't help you. I, I gotta do my show. You see, Tucker, we've spent many years controlling the narrative, and we're not gonna let some news reporter from Fox News screw it up. <laughs> I, I can't help you. I, I gotta do my show. Well, you don't really have a choice. What? You look stressed, Tucker. You want something that'll relax you? No, no thanks. I'm fine. <laughs> What's that? You've got information on Hillary Clinton? Oh, I can't believe this is happening. What, what are you talking about? You want us to write the note for you? What? Oh, I can't believe he's gone. Help! Somebody help! Uh, we did everything we could. Oh, I can't believe he's gone. This is all Trump's fault. Now he's not going to be Somebody able to help! Somebody help! Help! Uh, that's a shame. Hey, Sean! Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! Rise and shine, John! It's time to go to work! Come on, John, wake up! Wake up, John! Wake up, John! Are you alive? Of course he's alive! <laughs> Come on, John, stop screwing around! You gotta co sponsor this bill! Yeah, John, it's really important that you sign this document! Open your eyes, John! John, blink once if you can understand me! I know why he's not responding! He can't understand us without his computer! <laughs> Here, let me check him. Nancy, I don't think he's alive. Well, then check his pulse. I'm not feeling a pulse, Nancy. Oh, let me check. Hey, John. John. John! Yep, he said. Now what are we going to do? We need him to co-sponsor this bill. Well, what if we just pretend he's alive? Can we do that? <laughs> Why not? We've done it before. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I mean, I, I don't even know if I'm the real Nancy. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's wrong? Joe's FaceTiming John. Oh, no. If Joe finds out, he'll tell everybody. Yeah, he will. What are we going to do? Hang on. I think I got an idea. Hey, buddy! Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 you're freezing uh, up, buddy. Slow down. Hello, good night. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think I left the sprinklers on. I, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I'm hey, John. Well, it was good talking to you, too. And presto. John has completed his first Zoom call as a ghost. He looks so <laughs> real. How'd you do it? Shape and toothpicks. Works every time. <laughs> oh, this is so exhausting. I know. What are we going to do? I know. We can hire a body double to take his place. <laughs> Are you sure we can do that? Are you kidding? Of course we can. We own Hollywood. Nancy, are you sure this is going to work? Of course it's going to work. Settle down. Well, what if they find out? They didn't find out about Ruth. They didn't find out about Feinstein. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, John Fetterman. I'm just getting ready to co-sponsor this bill. Thanks again for all your support. Hello, goodbye. Nothing weird going on over here. <laughs> Hey, Lori, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just still in shock. Come on, you gotta stay positive. I just can't believe this happened. I was such a good mayor. I know, I know. I was a good governor. But because of Trump, it all came to an end. I just wanted to help people. I saved so many lives. I did, too. <laughs> so did I. Me, too. Me, too. This is all Trump's fault. I just want 60 seconds alone with Trump. <laughs> Trump pulled the trigger on my gun. I'm like totally being investigated because of Trump. Uh, 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 Trump made me send taxpayer dollars to Ukraine. Uh, Trump sent me to the hospital. And he sent my wife on vacation. I'm not house speaker anymore because of Trump. <laughs> Trump made me go to the Standard Hotel. And he made me eat hot dogs and pasta. Trump deleted all my emails. And he got me fired. Trump got me fired too. Yeah, he got me fired too. He got me fired too. He made me marry my brother. He ended my acting career. Uh, Trump got people to vote for me. Trump like totally wants to date me. Trump made them fire me. It's all Trump's fault. He's responsible for all of this. All the crime in Chicago, the shootings, the carjackings. It was all Trump. He did this! Hey guys, I'm super happy to be here. Is there anything I can do to help? Hey, thank goodness you're here. Hey, uh, can you get me a board stretcher? A board stretcher? Yeah. Of course! Yeah, and can you refill the water fountain? It's kind of low. Board stretcher, refill the fountain. I am on it. Oh, and, and the tractor's out of blinker fluid, so I'm gonna need you to get some of that too. Board stretcher, refill the fountain, and blinker fluid! And, and a bucket of steam. Got it! 
Hi, everybody. I'm here. I'm here to help. You're three weeks late. Trump already helped everybody. Ah, Sneaky Pete, what happened? I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened? Look, I'm just here for a photo op, okay? Well, isn't it your job to know? Me and my husband are married, okay? Are you even qualified to do this job? Did you hear me? I'm married to my husband. I'm qualified. Sneaky Pete, what took you so long to get here? I was busy. You were busy? Yeah, me and my husband are married. And I just didn't have any time, okay? Busy doing what? Well, me and my husband went out for a romantic dinner. We watched a movie, had a nice walk, and then we had dessert. Pete, it took you almost three weeks to get I here. I was taking personal time, okay? I have a life, people. Well, what about the people in Ohio? What about them? I don't know them. What are you doing here, Pete? You're not even doing anything. <laughs> For your information, I filled up the water fountain, and now I'm going to the store to get a board stretcher, a bucket of steam, and blinker fluid. So there. So based on our assessment of what caused the compromise. Okay, shh, quiet, okay? I have literally no idea what the hell you're talking about. I'm just here for a photo op, okay? And there is way too many white people working for you. You need to hire some different people, okay? <sighs> Where's my private jet? I want to go home. This place is a dump. Me and my husband have dinner reservations. Yo! Is that you? Surprise! What are you doing here, buddy? Hey, I came to wish you a happy birthday. But Joe, it's President's Day. Yeah, hey, can you believe me and you were born on the same day? You came all the way to a fake war zone just to say happy President's Day? Well, actually, I, I, I wanted to make sure I was still getting my 10%. <laughs> of course you are. It's in the mail, buddy. Oh, good. Shouldn't you be in Ohio right now? <laughs> Ohio? What, what? What's Ohio? America is lucky to have such a good president who puts their needs last. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I, I risk my life using taxpayer dollars coming all the way here to this fake war zone country. I know. <laughs> hey, this place is so much more dangerous than North Korea. Oh, Joe. It feels so good to be in your arms again. I know, right? I, I just couldn't go another day without seeing you. I miss the smell of your musk. Joe, is that a checkbook in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? You had me at 10%. Man, it sure feels good to shake hands with somebody who ain't from Ohio. Man, it's cold in here. Throw another taxpayer dollar on the fire, Joe. <laughs> Joe, yeah? Ukraine is going to need more money. Oh, um, uh, how much you need? All of it. Well, I was going to give some money to Ohio, but you guys obviously needed more, so oh, here you go. I love the sound of you writing me a check. I love the sound of that 10%. <laughs> You're missing a couple zeros, Joe. Oh, sorry about that. Wow, this place looks amazing. Looks like you've been using the American taxpayer dollars wisely. Oh, yes. <laughs> right over here, we're building a movie theater made out of solid gold. Over here, we just put in a solid gold toilet. And over here, we're building another bank to hold more American taxpayer money. Hey, man, what's going on? Is it, is it raining? Oh, no, that's just American taxpayer money. Oh, you know, uh, we got a slogan in America that goes, America last. That's our slogan, too. It is? Oh, man, that's awesome. Quick, let's play a game. All right. All right, on the count of three, name a country you hate. Don't even think about it, just say it. Okay, ready? <laughs> Yeah! One, two, three. America! <laughs> uh, uh, favorite country to take taxpayers' money from? America! America. <laughs> uh, uh, who, who would you give American money to? Uh, uh, America or Ukraine? Ukraine! Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just become best friends? Yeah! Uh, you you want to go do karate in the solid gold garage? Yeah! Um, is this Liars Anonymous? Nope! <laughs> is anybody sitting here? Yes! All right, everybody, now that we're all here, let's begin. I'm Nancy, and I'll be leading this group. Hillary, shut up. It's Nancy. Hello, everybody. I'm Nancy. No, I'm Nancy. Nancy. I'll be leading this group. No, no I'll I thought she was group. Nancy. Let's introduce ourselves. Well, uh, my name's Jeff. I'm 43, and I'm a Calvin Klein underwear model. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. <laughs> Hillary, would you like to share? Are you talking to me? Yes, Hillary. <laughs> well, my name is Nancy. I'm an Instagram model and the President of the United States. Thanks, Hillary. <laughs> oh, looks like we have a new member. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm not new. I've been coming here for years. Okay. <laughs> what's, what's your name? Um, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for our first exercise, I want everybody in the room to say something that isn't a lie. Joe, we'll start with you. Uh, I didn't get 81 million votes. Good. I got 82 million. Oh. You were so close, Joe. <laughs> Hillary, would you like to go next? Um, 
I yes? am not the president. Good job. I'm the queen. <laughs> well, at least you're making progress. Um, can I go next? Sure, Adam. Go right ahead. Um, I'm... Yes? Not... Come on, Adam. You can do this. Wearing a pizza shirt. <laughs> all right, guys. I, I need to ask you all a question. And I don't want you to lie. Okay. <laughs> is this group helping you? Of course yes. it is. You're a great teacher. Yeah, you're really helping me. Sorry I'm late, everybody. <laughs> I was tied up. Let's start today's session. Oops, I thought this was AA. <laughs> well, I'm stuck. Uh, I am too. I got nothing! I, I don't even know what's going on. We gotta figure out a way to get these peasants to turn in their guns. Let's start brainstorming. Well, uh, why don't we just take them? Uh, cause the Constitution? What's that? A piece of paper written by morons that says that peasants' rights shall not be infringed. I hate that piece of paper! Uh, me too. <laughs> it's the bane of my existence. Well, can't we just rip it up? I've tried, Joe. I've tried. I wish the Constitution was on a computer. Yeah, <laughs> you could just delete it. <laughs> that was a good one, but um, we gotta get serious. Well, why don't we make shooting somebody illegal? That's um, that's actually not a bad idea. Can we do that? I mean, yeah, I, I think so. Wow, it was right in front of our faces the whole time. Huh? Illegal to shoot someone? Now, why didn't we think of this, this before? Is, um, <laughs> this is gonna change everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you, you can't shoot somebody, shoot somebody, then why do you need a gun? And if it's it. a law, then nobody's gonna do it. Exactly. Well done, Joe. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just think and stuff comes out. You sound like my husband. <laughs> All right, so first thing Monday morning, we're gonna make shooting someone illegal. Uh, I think this is gonna work. Yep. It has to. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Hillary, what's your reaction to Ghislaine Maxwell getting sentenced to 20 years? Justice has been served! Yep, justice has she been served. She should have got more time, though. Yeah, she's a monster. Well, what about you. the client list? The what? Yeah, the, the what? The list of clients that went to Epstein Island? Well, what do they need that for? Jeffrey's gone and they got Ghislaine. Case closed. Case closed? <laughs> yep, case closed. Bill, did you know Jeffrey? Know him? <laughs> Hell, we were bit. Uh, no, never met him. Well, what about the clients? Well, how do you even know there were clients? Well, <laughs> yeah, you can't prove that. Then why was Ghislaine uh, arrested? For trafficking? Exactly. So where's the client list oh, at? Oh, come on. We don't even know if the victims she trafficked were even real. Oh, they were real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, how, how do we even know that, that they're real? If they weren't real, then why was Ghislaine sentenced to 20 years? For trafficking. Exactly. I mean, so there has to be a client list. Eh, it's all hearsay. And Epstein Island? Was that all hearsay, oh, too? No. Epstein Island was, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, uh, a bad, bad place. So neither <laughs> one of you believe that a client list actually exists? Nope. Huh, yeah, really? I mean, it's best to just forget about all this and just move on to more important things, you know? Yep, like the January 6th hearing! Yeah, you know, I mean, everybody needs to pay more attention to that. <laughs> so you guys don't even care if there's a client list or not? Nope. What I do care about is putting Donald Trump in prison! Yep. That's what's most important! Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, I, I, I called you here today because you're the best at what you do. General Milley, you, you've you never been to war, but you got more medals than any general in American history. Thank you. Uh, Pete, you're a professional chess feeder. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Kareem, <laughs> you, you never give a straight answer. Oh, my gosh, did you see the Super Bowl halftime show? Uh, uh, uh General Levine, you're, you're, you're an expert in UFOs. Quite frankly, nobody's seen you and Mitch McConnell in the same room. I'm an expert. Uh, Hunter, <laughs> you're an oil and pipeline specialist. And you're the smartest person I know. Thanks, Dad. All right, look, people, here's the deal. Um, my boy Hunter's in trouble, so <laughs> we need a new distraction. Did the pipeline thing work? Nah, uh, not really. <laughs> what about the balloons I never saw? Did that work? Nope. I don't know. Come on, guys. I mean, we need a new distraction that'll make everybody forget all about Hunter. We could release the aliens and move to space. Good idea. I'm due for a prostate exam anyway. <laughs> Lucky! All right, guys, I got a great idea. What is it, Dad? What if we release the aliens and move to space? Wow, that's a great idea. Yeah, I came up with it all by myself. What the f***? You're the greatest president ever, Dad. You know, I've always wondered what it'd be like to live in space. <laughs> Meet Joe Biden, his boy Hunter, daughter Ashley, 
kill his wife. Hey, Jill! I'll be there in a second, Joe! I gotta put my mask, I, I, I mean my makeup on! What is it, Joe? Hey, uh, wh where are we? Is this space? Yes, Joe! For the hundredth time! We live in space now! Oh, yeah, I, I, I forgot. Hey, fake mom! What's up with dad? Ever since his alien probe, he just hasn't been the same! Well, he still gets 10% though, right? Duh! Oh, good. Dad, I'm gonna go shower now. Alright, I'll be there in a minute. Hey, honey, what are you doing? Uh, just weighing some crack. So much lighter in space. <laughs> oh, Hunter, you're the smartest person I know. Bye, Dad! Uh, uh, yes, Your Holiness? Where's my money? Uh, it's coming, mate. I, I promise, all right? Hurry up, Joe! Y uh, yes, sir? I need the lunch code. Oh, y yes, sir. And right I need my money! Yes, sir, I'll get it for Hurry you. Hurry up! All right. I need more money, Joe! Where's my money, Joe? This isn't enough money! I need more money! Dad, Dad, wake up! Yeah. Man, space is gonna be cool. As long as I'm in charge. True Social, customer service, how can I help you? Is this True Social? Yes, it is. What can I do for you? I'm trying to delete my post, but I'm having a hard time. Can you help me? Sure. Have you tried the delete button? The delete button? Yeah, the delete button. No, I've just been using bleach and a hammer. Hillary, shut up! Me and Monica are trying shut to Shut up, delete. Hell! Sorry about that. Uh, no problem. Um, are you logged in? No. Okay, log in. Okay, it's it's asking me for my password. Do you remember your password? Of course I do. It's, uh, Benghazi. Okay, so just click the delete button. The delete button? Yeah, you click the delete button and your post will magically disappear. So I don't need to smash my phone? No. So I don't need to write in a suicide note? Nope, just click the delete button. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need something a little bit stronger than just a delete button. Well, uh, unfortunately that's all we have. That's all you have? Whatever. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, you can suspend Donald Trump's account. <laughs> for what? You think it's okay for Americans to hear the truth? Shut up, Hillary! Yeah, it's great, and quite frankly, it's long overdue. Uh, what difference does it make? <laughs> it actually makes a huge difference. Well, if you tell Americans the truth, rich and powerful people will go to prison! Yeah, that's kind of the point. Suspend Donald Trump's account now! <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Well, then I'm deleting my account. That's it! Oh, don't go. Hillary, shut up! You just woke up Monica! Hey, where'd you put my cigars? Can I help you? Yeah, let me get a Whopper. You don't have to be rude, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get a Whopper, please? Are you threatening me? I, I, I just want a Whopper. What kind of Whopper? Um, <laughs> just a Whopper. There's like 953 Whoppers to choose from? What? Don't yell at me! Huh? Call the police! Look, I, I I just want a Whopper. And you just assume we make Whoppers here? Well, it is Burger King, sir. Sir? Those aren't my pronouns! Huh? That's it! Your order has been suspended for 30 days! <sighs> Welcome to McDonald's. Yeah! Can I, like, totally get the Hunter Biden Happy Meal? Do you want nuggets or meat? Um, I'll get nuggets. Which toy do you want? What toys do you have? Right now we only have Laptop Susie and Crack Pipe Johnny. I'll take Laptop Susie. And would you like to donate 10% to the big guy? Yeah! Would you like a classified document while you wait? Duh! Can I take your order? Yeah, I'd like a number two, please. Huh? Uh, did you hear what I ordered? Not to the best of my recollection. Okay, I would like a number two, please. Okay, this is the nature of my confusion. A number two is the nature of your confusion? Um, not to the best of my recollection, okay? Okay, did you get my order? Yes or no? Ma'am, I don't know if I can give you a yes or no answer. Can I please have a number two? Oh my gosh, this is pointless! There it is! I, I can't believe I found it! You did it! You found it, Joe! Wow! Hunter's laptop and Ashley's diary! This is awesome! Um, is there anything on Hunter's laptop? Uh, it says, uh, 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 uh fair, fair weather friends get fair weather treatment. 10% to the big guy. Oh, damn! What's wrong? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just a bunch of naked pictures of my son. What's written in Ashley's diary? Uh, it says, uh, 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 young age showering with my dad probably not appropriate. Oh, man, she didn't like our secret shower time? You showered with your daughter? Yeah, I showered with her. What's wrong with that? 
Just get the laptop in the diary. How am I gonna do that? I, I don't see a teleprompter anywhere. Just replace the laptop in the diary with the bag of Trump's fault I gave you. Oh man, what if that don't work? Oh, that's easy. If it doesn't work, we'll just blame the laptop on Russian hackers, and then we'll accuse Project Veritas of stealing the diary. Wow, that's genius. What can I say? <laughs> I'm good at what I do. I mean, Hillary hasn't gone to prison yet. So uh, you're, you're sure this bag of Trump's fault is gonna work? Of course it'll work. A bag of Trump's fault always works. Oh, man, I'm so nervous right now. Just relax, Joe. You can do this. Come on, man. I don't know if I can do this. Let's go, Brandon. All right, Joe. You can do this. Let's go, Brandon. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Way to go, Brandon. I knew you could do it. Wait a minute. Where the hell am I? Oh. That looks like a nice spot for new China! Hey! There's my buddy Joe! Hey, Joe! Hey, is somebody saying my name? Joe! <laughs> hey, would you look at that? It's my best buddy, Jingling. Ling! Hello, Joe! What, what are you doing up there, buddy? Nothing! Just spying on America! H have you found a good spot to build a new China yet? Not yet! I'm still looking! Uh, do you need any more documents? No thanks! We have plenty! Well, would you look at that? What is it, Pops? It's a Chinese spy balloon! from China. What should we do? Well, if I was president, I'd shoot it down and send China a bill for the missile. <laughs> hey, are you sure you don't need no more documents? Yeah, Fang Fang has been using them for toilet paper. Me wiping long time. Oh, you got Fang Fang with you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're lucky. Oh, hello, Joe. <laughs> hey, Fang Fang. Ta uh, I said they for secrets. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> hey, Jiggling. Yeah. We, we gotta get together soon, man. Hunter's, uh... <laughs> Hunter's gonna need some more help. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, call me later, buddy. Yeah, thanks, bro. What do you think Biden's gonna do about it? Are you kidding? American taxpayers are probably funding this. <laughs> Ugh, what is that smell? Oh, Fang Fang. Ugh, I love you. Please reply to my text. Oh, hey, Eric. He took a long time. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to take care of this one myself. Trump. Oh. If you're ready, you me. Hello? What's up? What's up? Hey man, sorry about shooting down your spy balloon. They made me do it. It's okay. What took you so long? Well, I just want to make sure you got all your information, that's all. <laughs> hey, hang on. I'm getting another call. Hello? What's up? What's up? What's up, buddy? Not much. Just talking to Jingling. What's up with you? Well, since the intelligence committee was fired, I don't have any info on America. Oh, I'm sorry about that, buddy. Y you want some more info? No, he okay. I just sent off a spy balloon. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, hang on. I'm getting another call. Hello? What's up? What's up? Hey, Joe. Hey, buddy. What's going on? You, you need some more documents? No. But I do need more information about America. Well, just send over one of your Russian spy balloons. I already did, Joe. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm getting another call. Hello? Where's my money? Mr. President? <laughs> yeah? It's time. All right. Let's do it. Welcome back to the Let's Go Brandon Comedy Tour. Starring the guy who's just doing his job, Kevin McCarthy. Cacklin Harris. And the man of the hour, Mr. 81 Million Votes. Mumbling Joe Biden! Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, what do I do? I don't know, just do your job! Come on, Joe, <laughs> say something! Come on, Joe! Uh, <laughs> um, Joe, read the balloon! Oh, okay! <laughs> See here, it says, um, hi, my, my, my name is Joe! Good job, Joe! Joe, tell everybody how shiny your wife is! <laughs> hey, hey, look, look how shiny my wife is! Hey, hey, Jill! Hi, Joe! She's wearing a dress that's made out of 100% aluminum foil that was donated by my son, Hunter. <laughs> it's, it smells like per Parmesan. Are you guys tweeting? Uh, yeah, are ya? Yeah? Well, duh. Hey, are you, like, totally gonna buy my new book? Can you guys be quiet? I'm trying to tweet! We're totally helping America. America. All right, Joe, repeat after me. I have reduced the budget deficit by $1.4 trillion. Uh, see here, I, I, I've, I've, I've reduced the budget deficit by one, by one four uh, by by one point four trillion dollars. I, I inherited an economy in, in free fall because of Trump. I brought down gas prices. I've done everything I can to secure the border. I'm increasing oil and gas production. Joe, can you explain the Chinese spy balloon? Well, yeah. I mean, uh, 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 Trump had tons of Chinese balloons that that, that, that went undetected. <laughs> well, if they were undetected, how, how did you know they were there? 
I, I guess I just assumed they were there. Once upon a time, a Chinese spy balloon got filled up with air and sent off into the far, far away galaxies of the magical American sky. Come on, I know you got a job to do, but that's enough, all right? Rapper, that's enough. Bopper, stop a boo! Tell me, tell me, tell me! Come no. on, shut up! Joe, can you tell me about the classified documents? Well, yeah, I mean, Trump had a lot of classified documents. I was referring to your classified documents. Well, I mean, I only had classified documents because of Trump. And the spy balloon? Hey, man, I shot it down. You're welcome. Why did it take a week? Well, I just want to make sure the balloon got what it came for. And in conclusion, Trump has driven up the price of all essential commodities in America. <laughs> and Trump is also responsible for everything my son Hunter has ever done. <laughs> line is this, people. Trump is the reason you're all screwed. Not a joke. Hey, Kevin, how's Joe doing? Hey, he's just doing his job. <laughs> uh, my fellow potatoes. <laughs> Look, man, here's the deal. Nothing's built, nothing's bag, and nothing's better. Ultra MAGA, Trump, 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 lie, 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 listen here, Jack, threats to our democracy, ban assault weapons. <laughs> hey, how old are you? <laughs> what border? Um, I'm not kidding. Raise taxes, I did that. Not a joke. <laughs> Come on, man. And good night. End. <laughs> Order in your court! Cheryl Millie, do you swear to tell a lie, the whole lie, and nothing but a lie, to help you Biden? I swear! Did you call China? I did no such thing! Are you sure? Of course I'm sure! Shut up! Another word out of you, and I'll hold you in contempt. <laughs> this traitor should be tried for treason. For what? For treason! I didn't do anything wrong. So the video of you calling China isn't you? What video? A video of you calling China. <laughs> Would you like to see it? <laughs> sure. Play the imaginary video of me calling China. You got nothing. All right. Somebody press play. Drop your stars, traitor! Yeah! Don't listen to him, General! You're a patriot! Yeah, don't listen to him, Colonel Sanders! Your chicken is delicious! Enough! Now, will somebody please play the video? <laughs> Hello! What's up? What's up? So, what's up, homie? Nothing much. So, you guys coming over or what? No, it's all good here. Remember to let me know before you come, okay? Oh, yeah. I'll let you know before we come. Thanks, homie. And remember, this is our little secret, okay? Don't tell anybody. Your secret is safe with me. Well, that wasn't me. It wasn't you. No way. I've never called China before. I've never even been to China. <laughs> so that wasn't you. That didn't even look like him. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, I just so happened to have another video. Would you like to see it? <laughs> sure. Let's see another fake video. All right. Somebody press the play button. Hey, this is my courtroom. I'll be the one to say press play. Somebody press play. <laughs> the Americans are coming. The Americans are coming. <laughs> Let me guess. That wasn't you either? Nope. That wasn't me. You're a hero, General. A real patriot. Guys, it's almost half an hour. Um... Has the jury reached its decision? <laughs> uh, Your Honor, we the jury find this hero guilty of being an American patriot. General Milley is innocent! Guys, take Trump into custody! <laughs> Today we're joined with AOC. Hello, AOC. Um, you're supposed to say action, huh? A director says action when he starts filming a movie? But this is an interview. Oh, sorry. I thought this was like totally another movie. Are you trying to date me? Anyways, that was some speech today. Oh, that? That was nothing. I've had way better performances than that. Performances? Well, yeah. I'm like totally an actress. Duh. You are? Well, actually, I'm like a bartender pretending to be a congresswoman, but I'm just doing this while I wait for my big movie role. So that was just an act? Of course it was, silly. Why? Did you believe it? Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure everyone else believed it, too. OMG, thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. I've been practicing my actresses scene so hard, and I've been going to the, like this really amazing, expensive drama school, and it's like totally been paying so off. So the whole speech was... Just me actresses scene. Well, what about the whole women of color being targeted? Are you kidding? That was just in my script, silly. In your script? Well, yeah, duh. My script. I read it. You read from a script? No, I don't actually read it from a script. Oh. I, I have to rememorize the script. 
What? You have no idea how hard it is to rememorize words. No one knows my struggle. You don't know what so it's like to be me. So women of color are being targeted? Um, hello. My fiance's white. Okay, um, moving on. We're joined with T-Lab Rashad. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Have you searched every grocery store in town, only to find empty shelves? So, read the teleprompter. Oh, oh uh, 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 well, you're a duck. No, it, it says you're in luck. Yeah, that's what I said. You want eggs? We got eggs. And for just 17 payments of only $19.99, you can have eggs too. For just 13 payments of only $17.99, you can have a half dozen eggs that may or may not be made from vegetables. Absolutely free. For just 22 payments of only $14.99, plus 19 payments of just $34.77. That's less than an Abram steak. <laughs> and, and if you act now, I'll even throw in an empty egg carton filled with some of Hunter's Easter eggs he never found for only 37 payments of only $465. That's a 25 cent value, absolutely free, for just 10 payments of $1,759. That's less than a payment to your credit. But wait, that's not all. For a limited time, I'll even throw in a $20 scratched off lottery ticket for only 20 bucks. What do you think about that, White House Press Secretary? I'll refer you to the White House Council. But that's not all! You'll also be entered into a drawing for a chance to win $20 for only 17 payments of only 60 bucks. That's a 25 cent value, absolutely free, after 14 payments of only $27.99. And if you send us a check for $99, I'll even throw in this never before used hammer for only six payments of just $45. Plus $35 for shipping and handling. <laughs> That's a $14 value, absolutely free, for just $404, plus $1,500. And with every purchase, we'll donate $2 million to your train. <laughs> but wait, we're not done. For an additional $1,400, I'll throw in a carton of partially used egg whites that may or may not contain cat hair. Absolutely free, for just six payments of only $17.99. <laughs> wow. That's almost a full carton! But wait! There's more! <laughs> and because this is all Trump's fault, the first hundred callers will get to smell all the evidence on me and Hunter. And I'll even throw in a used gas card with no money on it. Absolutely free. Wow! That's amazing! But wait! That's not all! No, no. For a limited <laughs> that, time... That's it, Joe. Oh. Read the teleprompter, Joe. <laughs> and remember, people, if you're poor, weak, and hungry... That's the way we like yeah. it. <laughs> hey, it's all Trump's fault, right? You got that right. Hi, and welcome back to Not Cooking with AOC. Today we're like totally not gonna be cooking food to prove that you can like totally still eat without using your gas stove. <laughs> Wait, I like totally forgot what I was gonna talk about. Damn you gas stove! Stop making me forget stuff! Okay, let us begin. So just because I have a gas stove doesn't mean I like totally have to use a gas stove. And neither should you. I get like letters like all the time from like my millions and millions of fans. And they always ask me the same question. AOC, what do you do if you want to heat your food up? There are so many different ways to heat up your food without using a gas stove. You can breathe on your food. Or you can like totally use an electric stove. You can use a lighter, a match, your car's exhaust, or you can use the flame in your water heater. I like to heat up my food by pretending the gas stove is on. I'll even like totally use sound effects. Now we're cooking. It was like totally weird at first because my food was like always cold. My hamburgers never change colors, my grilled cheese would never melt, and my popcorn would never pop. But after a while, you like totally get used to it. Kevin, I, I think you should tell him. What's going on? Yeah, what's up? Is, is something wrong? It's over. What's over? I'm kicking both of you off the intelligence committee. No! No! 
Sorry, guys. I tried. <laughs> I gotta say, I could have called this one. Was it our fault? Is it because we lied? No, oh, no, no. It's not your fault. Is there anything we can do to fix this? Yeah, can we apologize? Listen to me, okay? This is not your fault. Well, whose fault is it? Yeah. I want to know. Oh, cut the shit. Hey, this is 100% their fault. You dated a spy. You lied about Trump. You farted on national TV. And the worst part of it all is you destroyed America. Don't listen to him, guys. It's not true. This is absolutely 150% your fault. Of course it's their fault. They're two of the biggest traitors in America. They belong in prison. Alan, please. Don't cry like that. <laughs> Damn it, Kevin! I told you not to blame them! Uh, both of you just grow up! <laughs> Don't you dare poop your pants at the table, Eric! I'm going to poop my pants! You better not poop, Eric! Oh. <laughs> he actually crapped himself! That's gross! All right, dipshits, smile! <laughs> I want to start first with the exorcism. Yeah? What about it? You really had an exorcism? Of course I did. Are you calling me a liar? I'm just asking if you really had an exorcism. Yes, I had an exorcism. There's evil in my house. Well, were you able to get it out? Well, were you able to get it out? Of course not. It's still there. Do you have proof of this? Of course I have proof. Play the clip. With this holy vodka water, I command the evil spirit to leave this $23 million mansion. Something's happening to me. What's going on? The power of vodka compels you. The power of <laughs> vodka compels you. Yeah. Paul, don't look at my dress. I ran out of razors. <laughs> so, what the hell was that? It was an exorcism, smartass. Wait a minute. So you have video of the exorcism, but not Paul's attack? The cameras weren't working when Paul was attacked. <laughs> And, and what were you trying to accomplish by doing this exorcism? Well, ever since my husband's attack, our house just doesn't feel safe anymore. Well, maybe your house would be more safe if your husband didn't let strange men in the front door. He let him in the back door. What? Paul let him in the back door, not the front. So what's it like not being house speaker anymore? Um, uh -huh. it's okay. Do you miss it? I miss it every day. Um, the sock tips, money laundering, the power. It's all I have. And now it's all gone. The money's all gone? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I'll never run out of money. And the Pelosi Act? Yeah? What about it? Well, if it passes, then it would prohibit members of Congress and their spouses from holding or trading individual stocks. <laughs> and, 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 and you think it's gonna pass? I don't know. Will it? <laughs> Not in a million years. Next question. Are there different consequences for Republicans and Democrats? Of course not. What a stupid question. Republicans and Democrats have always been treated the same. Are you sure about that? Of course I'm sure. Well, the guy who put his feet on your desk is getting life in prison, while the people who destroyed cities are being set free. Yeah, well, those are two completely different crimes. Destruction of cities and feet on your yeah. desk? My desk. No one puts their feet on my desk for me. No one. Especially a peasant. Classified documents? Yeah, what about them? Well, you said how serious it was when Trump had a few classified documents. But you don't seem too concerned with Biden having a whole truckload of them. That's a lie. I never said it was serious when Trump had them. You said it was very serious. Show me the clip. All right, let's take a look. I, I just want to say, um, <laughs> how very serious this all is. Uh, uh, the the kinds of, the kinds of classified documents. This is, this is very serious! You gotta hide your kids! You gotta hide your wife! Trump is a threat to national security! He needs to be in prison! <laughs> well? Well, what? You wanna explain that? That wasn't even me! <laughs> that wasn't you? No more questions! Everybody here? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! yeah. Alright, uh, let's begin. Uh, Where's Kamala? Um. <laughs> She's under the table looking oh. for a pearl necklace. Oh. <laughs> What's she doing under there? Um, her <laughs> job. Oh. Kamala, come out from under the table. Yeah, uh. come up for air, Kamala. No, 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 no. Just, just, just let her finish what she's doing. Yeah, let her uh. finish. She's got her hands uh. full, Nancy. <laughs> Can we get down to business, please? Uh. <laughs> Is Kamala okay? Oh, yeah. Of course she's fine. <laughs> she's got her knee pads on. So, Kevin. Yeah? Are you going to play on our team or not? I don't know. What team are you oh, on? Oh, yeah. I'm on the money team. We're all on the money train. Oh. Isn't that right, Chuck? Yeah. Oh. Don't stop. Oh, yeah, don't God. stop. Yeah, the money train never oh. stops. 
<laughs> I mean, we could be the next silent if we try hard enough. Yeah. In fact, we should all be taking notes on what silent is doing right now. I agree. And we need to shut down Twitter, too. Oh. We can't allow these peasants oh. to have free speech. So, oh. Kevin, are you in or you out? I don't know. I told everyone I was going to fire Ilhan Schiff and Swalwell. So what? I say stuff all the time. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yes, I say stuff all the time. No, nobody even knows what I'm saying. He's right, Kevin. Nobody cares. But don't Republicans care? Are you serious? I don't know. <laughs> Kevin, if the Republicans cared, they would do something. Yeah. But they don't. They just turn the other cheek and let us do whatever we want. <laughs> but they are doing some things, aren't they? I don't know. Ask Mitch. <laughs> yeah, the Republicans are doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, they let me get elected. <laughs> That's a good one, Joe. What? What did I say? Oh. The bottom line is this. If the Republicans were going to do something, they would have done it already. Yeah, we've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, so is oh. Cobb on the money uh, side, whoa. Kevin. We'll oh. take good care of you. Oh. Oh. You really think I should? Yeah. Free ice cream, free stock tips, free everything. Oh, yeah. Well, what do I have to do? You just do whatever we tell you to do. <laughs> it's super easy. Well, they found more classified documents. Uh, again? So that must mean we're over here at Joe Biden's house. Oh, man, this is getting bad. How am I going to make this go away? Come on, Joe. Think. I got it. Hello, Antifa. It's Joe. Long time no see. Are you guys going to do something? I, I didn't hear you. I can't say anything. I'm going to be the president. Do da. Do da. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is coming together beautifully. And, and don't forget to make it largely peaceful, all right? Who cares about classified documents when there's largely peaceful protests going on? I believe that all you peasants out there have the right to liberty and happiness, as long as we allow it. What about life? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Nothing's Gonna Happen to the Bidens. I'd like to introduce the White House's new protein specialist. Thank you. Oh, man. You got more pearl necklaces than Kamala. I'm going to make you so proud. Oh, you already have. Several times. <laughs> but you got a lot more work to do. So let's go. I'm going to be the president. Do da. Do da. <laughs> White. Camera. Bullshit. Welcome back to the pool. Today we're going to talk about how Trump planted classified documents inside Joe Biden's Corvette. And how did he do it? <gasps> when is Trump going to stop? Mm-hmm. I hear you, girl. We were this close to giving them. This close! We should throw Trump over the border. Why can't Trump leave my president? Alone. Yeah, Trump, leave President Biden alone. Here we have the greatest president ever. <laughs> and Trump can't stand it. She ain't lying. <sighs> How was Trump even able <gasps> to break into President Biden's <gasps> garage? He must have used his Russian military connections. <laughs> or he probably used his billions of dollars to hire someone to invent a machine that would shrink himself so no one could see him break in. Hey, caramba! He used a shrink ray? Like <gasps> Ant-Man? Yeah, or like Honey, I Swank the Kids. So Trump used a shrink ray to plant documents on President Biden? <gasps> That's what it looks like. <laughs> mm-hmm, that ain't right, y'all. It should be illegal to shrink yourself, man. I agree. Shrinking yourself should be against the law. <laughs> <gasps> and how do we know mm -hmm. that this isn't mm -hmm. the first time mm -hmm. he shrunk himself? Good point. I mean, he could have shrunk himself and planted stuff on other people, too. <gasps> what I want to know is, mm -hmm. <gasps> who built you go, girl. <gasps> the machine mm -hmm. <gasps> that Trump mm -hmm. <gasps> used mm -hmm. <gasps> to shrink himself? <laughs> I want to know. That's what I want to know. I want to know, too. It's probably a Russian scientist. Mm -hmm. What a lady. <sighs> well, mm -hmm. at least now mm -hmm. we know how mm -hmm. he got into Joe's mm -hmm. garage. Come on, is He's it? himself. Hey, did somebody summon a priest? So? What are you doing here? I I'm here for the exorcism. You're a priest? <laughs> of course I'm a priest. Not a joke. When, when did you become a priest? Well, I was at the black church with the Puerto Rican family that raised me, and everything just kind of snowballed from there. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever done an exorcism before? <laughs> Are you kidding? I've done lots of exorcisms. J just did one this morning. 
Not a joke. Okay, you're hired. <laughs> now help this house. All right, uh, 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 what do you want me to do? I, I, I send this house to the charges, and um, I, I need you to find your evil spirits and catch them away. <laughs> All right, I, I'm, uh, I'm smelling underwear, sweat, and hammers. That's what I'm talking about. Joe, sure, make this house safe again. All right, all right. I, I, I'm sensing the evil spirit. Well, where is it? it, it it's in the room with us. Well, get rid of it. I, I'm trying to, but it keeps talking to me. What's it saying? It, it, it just asked me what it's saying. What? Now, now it's saying what? Joe, sure, I'm saying that. How the hell does it know my name? Joe, sure, get rid of your evil spirit. It, it, it just asked me to get rid of the evil spirit. W what's happening? With this holy vodka water, I command the evil spirit to leave this $23 million mansion. Something's happening to me. What's going on? The power of vodka compels you. The power of vodka <laughs> compels you. Yeah. Paul, don't look at my dress. I ran out of razors. Too late. <laughs> Something fishy's going on in here. What, what's wrong? Well, well you, you wanted the evil spirit gone, right? Yes, yes. I want you to make it go away. All right. Well, I, I think you're going to need to move out then. Man. I wish I was still the president. Well, you should have thought about that before you sent out all those mean tweets. What? He's got a point, Trump! Yeah, I tried to tell you, man. No, you didn't. You never said a word. Yeah, but I was thinking about it. You were thinking about it? Yeah, I'd be like, no, don't send that. That was kind of mean. Yeah, me too. So you guys thought my tweets were mean? Yeah! <laughs> they were really offensive, and they hurt my feelings. I still have a hard time sleeping at night. I have a teddy bear who tells me everything is going to be okay when I push his belly. I'm in a mean tweet support group. Come on, are you guys being serious here? Just messing with me. You ruined our lives with those tweets, Trump. My life will never be the same. Well, why didn't you say something to me? How could we? How could we? You were always so busy trying to make America great All again. All you ever cared about was exposing the truth. Yeah. But you never saw me crying in the corner. <laughs> guys. I'm sorry. I, I I had no idea my tweets affected you this much. Well, now you know. I hope you're happy. I'm ruined. My psychologist says I'm unfixable. Unfixable! Uh, is there something I can do for you guys? Haven't you done enough already? You know, I didn't want to bring this up. Devin, no. Shut up, Dan. It has to be said. What is it? We're going to work for Joe Biden. What? Joe. 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 Wow, 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 wow. It's time to get on. <laughs> oh, man. That was a, that was a good dream. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry about that. How oh, dare you! I, I can't believe huh? you just did that. I'm oh, oh, man, I can't believe it was just a yawn. Just a yawn? Yeah. Just a yawn? Yeah. Just a yawn? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Breaking news. Twice impeached no longer President Donald Trump viciously assaulted a group of innocent victims in an elevator, causing mass panic and outrage throughout the nation. We have a developing story. The manhunt for the elevator terrorist Donald Trump continues as the world waits in fear. A candlelight visual that's being held for the survivors of this unspeakable crime. This just in. Former not my president Donald Trump attacks a group of innocent people in an elevator just seconds ago. Uh, I, I, I'm declaring a state of emergency. Uh, I, 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 America is just not safe with this maniac on the loose. My team and I will work around the clock until Trump has been captured. The FBI has launched a full investigation yep. into Trump's elevator attack. Yeah, we got every officer in America out there looking for Trump. That's right. And we won't rest nope. until Trump is arrested and charged to the full extent of the law. Life in prison. Uh, until Trump is indicted and given, li <laughs> and given life in prison for this heinous criminal assault. <laughs> Democracy will never be restored. This is a disgrace to America and uh, all mankind. I agree. Trump needs to be in prison for this. Can you describe the attack? Oh, I, I, I've never been so afraid. Um, my whole life flashed before my eyes. And how were you able to get away from Trump? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it just, it just all happened so fast. I, I think the only reason I survived is because of my years of street fighting experience. <laughs> what was going through your mind while Trump was assaulting everyone? <laughs> well, I, I, he, he was definitely on a mission, but I, I, I wasn't scared. I mean, I, as, as soon as he started freaking out on everybody, my corn pop training kicked in, and I took him out. Alexandria. Yeah? How did Trump's elevator assault affect you? Well, technically, I wasn't, like, there or, like, whatever. But if I was totally, like, there, I could have, like, totally almost died. Do you have any advice for the families out there while this manhunt for Trump goes on? Yeah, um, uh, lock yourself in your house and, uh, shut down your businesses. 
Take your kids out of school. Get vaccinated. And wear a mask so Trump can't see you. We're going to need at least two weeks to flatten the Trump curve. Brian. Yeah? How were you able to survive this attack? Well, I don't remember much. It happened so fast. I passed out, and when I woke up, Trump was saying how sorry he was. But the damage was already done. The doctor says I'm unfixable. Mr. President. Uh, the president's here? <laughs> hey, where's, where's he at? Has Trump been caught yet? Uh, no, no, he hasn't. Uh, but, but we're doing everything we can. I, I don't care how much taxpayer money we got to spend. We're going to find him and we're going <sighs> to... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Welcome back to the World Economic Forum Game Show. With your host, the walking meat sleeve, Brian Statler. Yep, my jet is filled and I'm ready to go. Let's lock it down! Wait, what's going on? I want to dress shopping. Let's play! As long as nobody has an opinion, I'm ready. Let's begin. Top five answers on the board. We asked the hundred Democrats. If a Republican tells the truth, oh. it's most likely a what? Um... Christopher? Um, hey, my buzz is not working. Did you hear something? Nope. Hey, my microphone ain't working either. Okay, Christopher. If a Republican tells the truth, hey. it's most likely a what? Well, first off, a Republican shouldn't be allowed to talk, ever. I agree. But until we make it a law, I'm going to go with it's a lie. Show me it's a lie. <laughs> All right, John. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, uh, oh, boy. Uh, Are you okay? Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm having a climate change. Oh, no. It was just a photo op. Oh, good. Yep. All right, John. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? I'm going to go with misinformation. Show me misinformation. <laughs> All right, Gretchen. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? First off, Republicans should be able to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with bullshit. Show me bullshit. All right, Christopher. <laughs> if a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? 100% fake news. Show me fake news. All right, Klaus. Ooh. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? It should be illegal for a Republican to talk. Yeah, I, I agree. agree. But I'm going to go with a felony. Show me a felony. All right, Joe. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely a what? Uh, inaccurate news information. Show me inaccurate news information. How much money did I win? What do you want, Eric? Will you date me? Hell no! Please! No! Uh, why not? Um, because I'm an American, Ugh. and I don't like the smell of shit. So you're not gonna date me then? No. Ugh. Ew. You're Ugh. gonna make me puke. You're a creep, Eric. Ugh. Eric, you come tell me secrets now. Is it because I stink? Yeah, among Ugh. other things. Is it because of my relationship with Fang Fang? Yeah. Is it because I lied about Russia? Uh-huh. Oh, Eric, you come tell me secrets now. Not now, Fang Fang. I'm working. You always working. Why well, I clean skin marks out your underwear? Quiet down, Fang Fang. Run along, Eric. Uh, Sell more American secrets to Fang Fang. So you're not going to date me? Fang Fang, uh, can you not hear over your own farts? I said no. Is it because I don't like guns or the Constitution? Bingo. Uh, I a long but time. I was almost president, and I really like you. You are nowhere near president, uh, and it's never going to happen. Uh, you're a straight-up weirdo. Uh, but what if I stop farting? Eric, I want to smell fart now. Uh, your face literally looks like you're farting 24-7. But that's just my face. I know. Uh, you're a fart face. <laughs> Goodbye. What? Will I ever see you again? Yeah. I'll come and say uh, hi to you uh, when you're finally in prison. So you're telling me there's a chance. Coming up next on Hoarders. <laughs> now, now, I know a lot of you out there are probably wondering, where didn't he have classified documents? Well, I had some in my bedroom. But don't worry, the door was locked. I had some in my bathroom, too. <laughs> but don't worry, I locked the door. I even had some in my attic. But don't worry, the door was locked. I even had some in my kitchen. <laughs> but don't worry, the door was, well...
Can't really lock a kitchen, but <laughs> I mean, the front door was locked. <laughs> you guys need to stop worrying, all right? I got this all under control, all right? I mean, you think I'm stupid, <laughs> but you know, I mean, everything's fine. These documents are in good hands. I mean, Hunter owns this house. Uh, 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 you, you, you want to see me, sir? Yeah, Joe, I wanted to talk to you about the classified documents. Uh, <laughs> which, which, which ones? Like, the, uh, the, 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 the first set, the second set, or the, uh, or the third this set? This isn't gonna take long, is it? It shouldn't. Well, Why? I've got some lettuce cooking on the gas stove right now. Oh, I love cooked lettuce. Oh, yeah. Joe. Um, Joe, I understand that you had some classified documents in your Corvette. W was that wrong? <laughs> should, should I have not done that? Because... I gotta be honest, I, I gotta plead ignorance on this one. Well, I, I mean, it, it, well, it's... My, my Corvette was locked. It, it was? Yeah. Yeah. What, was the garage locked? Yep. Yeah, the garage was locked, too. Oh, well, as long as the garage was locked, then we're all good here. That's what I said. And you declassified all these documents, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I did all that when I was a, a, a vice president. Good, good. Oh, no! What, what's wrong? The lettuce is burning. The lettuce it's is all right, burning. honey, I like my lettuce a little crispy. Oh, all right, Joe. Joe, you're free to go, buddy. <laughs> so, I, I'm not in trouble here? Of course not. It's not your fault somebody planted these documents. Documents in your Corvette? That's what I've been saying all along! It has come to our attention that the classified documents found in Joe Biden's Corvette were planted by none other than Donald Trump! <laughs> because of gas stoves? <laughs> President Joe Biden doesn't even remember what a classified document is! <laughs> So what are you doing to impeach Joe Biden? What am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. Well, I'm tweeting a lot, and I've been cheering for my favorite college football team. Go dogs! Really? Yeah. The most important thing we need to concentrate on right now is college football. That's how we're going to impeach Joe Biden, and that's how we're going to lower inflation. Go dogs! Um... <laughs> is, is there anything in here we can use to lock Trump up? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Well, what exactly are we looking for? <laughs> yeah, tell us what you look for. Well, we need to find some unimportant declassified documents that Trump has in his possession. And, and if we find these declassified unimportant documents, then Trump goes to jail, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, he'll go to jail for life. Oh, yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find them. Hey, Trump! It's the FBI! We're coming in! <laughs> hey, Joe? Uh, yeah? What were you thinking? Oh, man, what'd I do now? Classified documents in your Corvette? Oh, that? Come on, man. That's no big deal. No big deal? Of course not. I mean, the garage was locked. It was? Yeah, and the Corvette was locked, too. Oh. What kind of president do you think I am? But your Corvette is a convertible. I know. That's why I put the classified documents in the glove compartment. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. And you think classified documents are safe in a garage? In a locked garage, yeah. In a locked Corvette, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't leave classified documents in an unlocked garage in an unlocked Corvette. I mean, come on, man. I'm not stupid. Shouldn't classified documents be kept in a secure location? A locked garage is a secure location. It <laughs> is? Of course it is. I mean, I keep all my classified documents in the garage. I also keep my classified documents in the medicine cabinet. <laughs> Nobody's gonna look there. Joe, this seems really careless and irresponsible. Listen here, Jack. I take classified documents as serious as I take America. You see that garage right there? That's made out of wood. Ain't nobody getting in there. Are you sure? Oh, damn it. What's wrong? I locked my keys outside my car again. Oh. How the hell am I going to get home now? You need some help? Nah, I'll just call a locksmith. Hey, America, are you distracted yet? <laughs> well, America, after 80 years, I finally made it to the border. Welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? Yeah, I'm here to check on the border. You're here to what? I said I'm here to check on the border. Pull to the second window, please. How you doing, officer? Uh... I, I'm here to check on the border. Sir, this is Taco Bell. There's no border here. Well, your advertisement said to make a run for the border. So here I am. Are you going to order something? Well, since I'm here, I guess I'll order, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 10% looks good. Joe, what happened? It said drive through so I drove through it. I, I was just following instructions. So I'm here at the border, and, <laughs> hell, I, I don't know what the big deal is. I mean, everything looks fine. Border is just as secure as Kamala's knees. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to order 30,000 migrants to go. Coming right up. <laughs> Is the border secure? Of course it's secure. Are you sure? I'm 81 million percent sure. It doesn't listen here, Jack. The border is just as secure as the 2020 election was. It is? Yeah. It's just as secure as Hunter's laptop and Ashley's diary. Look, man, here's the deal. The border is secure, all right? Then why did Trump need $5 billion to fix it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, why does a cat bark? Why, why is water dry? <laughs> it just is. What? Look here, man. The bottom line is, it all worked out. It did? Yeah. I mean, instead of giving $5 billion to Trump, 
I gave 50 million to Ukraine. And that's called progress. I did that. <laughs>15th time. So you married your brother, huh? Yes. What's that like? It's awesome. Matt, are you gonna vote for me? No. Please? No. You're a big fat poopy head. Mike, Matt called me a big fat poopy head. You son of a bitch, you take that back. Mike, stop or your two K's gonna fall off. Apologize to Kevin, Matt. No. He's a big fat poopy head. Ah! Jeez. These stupid Republicans can't even peacefully transfer power to themselves. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm an American Idol. Is Ryan Seacrest here yet? Don't you give up, Timmy. You got this. Nancy, it's me, Kevin. <laughs> you're, you're crazy, Timmy. <laughs> I, I, I like you, but um, <laughs> you're, you're, you're crazy. Is Ryan Seacrest here yet? Ew, get away from me. Oh my gosh, can you please stop trying to date me? Lies over lies. Bullshit over bullshit. More bullshit over more bullshit. Are you gonna vote for me, Jim? Nah, bro. Please? Nah, man, you're a big fat fart face, dude. No, you're a big fat fart face. Maxine, Jim's not voting for me either. Aw, oh, you motherfuckers! Y'all best be voting for Kevin, or I'm putting cases on all you bitches! Uh, can you guys keep it down? <laughs> Trying to work on my skit up here. Ew, it totally smells like Chinese food in here! Sorry! Wait! Got to like, totally shut down, like, all the mainstream media news companies, like the Babylon Bee and The Onion and Mad Magazine. America deserves to know the truth, okay? I got my GED. Where's my gun? This is like the weirdest American Idol ever. Nobody's even singing. All right, Kevin, I'll vote for you. You will? Yeah, but you gotta give me all your Pokemon cards. My Pokemon cards? Yeah. No way, dude. I'm not giving you my Pokemon cards. Well, then I'm not voting for you. Uh, oh my gosh, is that like totally Simon Cowell? Simon, what's up, dog? Oh, adult diapers. Was a good choice. Hey, excuse me. Um, can, can you smell my breath? <laughs> I, I just, I, I just drank a whole bunch of vodka. <laughs> can you smell it? <sighs> you want me to call Trump? Huh? You want me to call him? Cause I'll do it. I got his number. Do you got his number? No, no, you don't have his number. But I do. Ah, yeah, that's what I thought. And, and, and don't forget to give me those stock tips if you win, Trevor. I won't. Uh, I'm gonna be the next Obama. <laughs> Dude, I'll vote for you. You will? Yeah, but you gotta give me your Lunchables. Uh, my Lunchables? Yeah, for a whole year. A whole year? Yeah, and your snack pack too, dude. Oh, uh, dude, not my snack pack. Do you want to be house speaker or not? Uh, fine. Say thank you, Trump. Uh, Say it. Thank you, Trump. I got his cell phone number. Hypothetical question. Okay. What, what, what would you do if you walked in and saw your husband in his underwear with another guy holding a hammer? Uh, <laughs> we did it, Trump. We did it. I'm going to be the Speaker of the United States. <laughs> oh, hang on. President Lazinski's calling me. The United Spot. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. This is, um... 
What's that say? It says you're not the president, Joe. <laughs> uh, yuck, it smells um, like there's old dentures and tuna up here. <laughs> Can somebody give me some Lysol? Uh, there's vodka and baby wipes all over the floor. Uh, ah, see here. And there's pearl and necklaces it, 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 everywhere. And it says, uh, uh, I can't see it. <laughs> hey, Joe, that's a left-handed microphone. Oh, damn it. Can, can, can somebody give me a right-handed microphone? <laughs> see us. Hey, Joe, uh... you locked your keys outside your car again. <laughs> oh, man, how am I going to get home? <laughs> hey, Kamala, pick up your knee pad. <laughs> and for the love of God, clean up all the uh, protein on your uh, 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 today, today, I'm going to sign an executive order that will save the lives of a million deers. How you going to do that, uh, Joe? I, 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 I'm going to put deer crossing signs up so the deers know where to cross the road. <laughs> so anyways, I... I I'm the best president ever. No, you're not, Joe. <laughs> I, I, I lowered gas prices. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't. Uh, but, but but I did secure the border. That's what you didn't do, Joe. Yeah, maybe not. But uh, I, I did create more jobs than anybody in history. That's a lie. Yeah, I think it is. But yeah. uh, I, I did get more votes than any other president ever. <laughs> do you believe that? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I did lower inflation, though, right? I'll take things that never happened for 200, yeah, Joe. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's correct. But yeah. I, I, I did somehow manage to completely ruin everything. That's that true. You created. And I gave more money to Ukraine than any president in history. <laughs> Uh, see hey, here, Joe, uh, tell him about your smart son. <laughs> oh, man. Hunter? Yeah, yeah he, he, he's uh, he's the smartest person I know. Hey, smoking Parmesan cheese don't make you smart, Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe, yeah. what's two plus two? Uh, two plus two. Uh, two plus two is potato. <laughs> and who delivers presents on Christmas? Uh, that, 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 uh, that'd be the Easter Bunny. Joe, who's president of the United States? Uh, Barack Obama. And what does a dentist do? Uh, uh he, he, he makes shoelaces, of course. Joe, what color is the color orange? Uh, color orange is, a uh, uh, blue. And who do you work for, Joe? Uh, <laughs> that, that's a trick question, but, uh, it's China. I think I'm gonna like being out speaker. <laughs> hey, can somebody help me look for my keys? I gotta go home! <laughs> Come on, guys. We gotta figure this out. We're running out of time. Yeah! We can't send any more money to Ukraine if Congress is shut down. Come on, guys. We need a house speaker. I have house speakers in my car. I'm just happy that the metal detectors are gone. Come on, guys. We need to work together or Congress is gonna stay closed. Are we still, like, gonna get paid? Obviously. Oh, good. I'm almost broke. Aren't you worth, like, $29 million? No! I'm only worth 200 zero thousand. Yeah, right! I'm serious! Google totally fact-checked it, so you know it's true. So, are we gonna vote? Oh, no, I got a good idea! This should be good! Um, What's that supposed to mean? Vote? It means whatever the hell you want it to mean! So, like, it could mean banana? Uh, are you calling me stupid? No, no, I'm just saying your elevator doesn't go to the top floor. Well, that's because I'm scared of heights. So, are we gonna vote or what? Well, Alexandria, what is it? What's what? You said you had a good idea. Oh my gosh, I said that out loud? How are you in Congress? You're not even on a gun. Because I'm like an Instagram model and I used to be a bartender? Duh! How are you all in Congress? Well, I vote for Democrats 46% of the time. I yell a lot! I like totally tweet all day. I tweet too. I carry a gun. I got a podcast. Okay, wait a minute. What does, like, Congress even do? Um, nothing. Like, nothing, nothing? Well, we give money to Ukraine. We do other stuff. Like what? Uh, mm. uh it's actually a pretty good question. Oh my gosh, on, you guys, totally want to date that. We've already voted 400 times, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, and you lost 400 times, Kevin. You don't have to vote, Kevin! You're like a toilet that won't flush. I know, flush. I know, but I got a good feeling this time. And uh, if I lose one more time, I'll get a free set of steak knives. Oh my gosh, Trump needs to tell you to withdraw. Is this science? Kevin, are you a Republican or a Democrat? Hmm, nobody's ever asked me that before. I think hmm. Kevin should be a Democrat. I always thought he was a me Democrat. Too. I he was a Democrat me too. too. Me too. I got it! What if I, like, totally run for Congress? Hello, peasants. <laughs> I'm Nancy Pelosi, and I want to show you how I made a hundred million dollars by picking all the right stocks. <laughs> hot dogs! Get your fresh hot dogs! Are you tired of the same old limp hot dogs? Then try Adam Schiff's Jumbo Protein Dogs! My plump and juicy mouth-watering protein-filled hot dogs really satisfy! Adam Schiff's protein-filled hot dogs. Oh, this protein-packed chili dog is amazing! Don't tell my husband! Guaranteed to fill you up. Available at the Standard Hotel. Hi, I'm Ray Epps, and I'm gonna show you how to stay out of prison. Hi, I'm Liz Cheney, and I'm gonna show you how I made $50 million magically appear. <laughs> Here's your drink, sir. <laughs> hey, Adam. Yeah? I was wondering. Who would you vote for for House Speaker? 
<laughs> I forgot. You weren't able to vote. <laughs> Enjoy unemployment, dipshit. Are you tired of the same old limp noodles? Then try Adam Schiff's protein pasta with creamy white sauce. Fill up your little tummies with my mouth-watering pea protein pasta today. Available at the Standard Hotel. Police, open up. <laughs> what do you want? We just want to talk. You got a warrant? Um, what, what's your warrant? Come outside. <laughs> we just want to talk to you. I don't want to talk. How many of you are out there? It's just the two of us. Perfect. Talk to each other. <laughs> so what are you guys doing here? Um, we need, we need jobs. jobs. Can you pretend to cry? Like, like right, right now? now? Yeah, do it right now. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> cry. Do it. Just talk. Do it right now. Cry. 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 Congratulations. You're hired. You know, instead of looking at my taxes and personal phone call logs, we need to concentrate on more important things like shutting down the FBI for two weeks to slow down the spread of tyranny. Remember, people, the Democrats cheered peaceful protesters for eight full months before they were finally outraged by January 6th. <laughs> Hey, O.C., come out and celebrate J6 with us. <laughs> it's July already? Uh, Nancy, can you read us the story, please? All right. <laughs> but afterwards, you kids need to get to bed, or... <laughs> we know! The insurrection fairy won't come. <laughs> it was the night after J6, and all through the house. A.O.C. was still hiding, and... Nancy, can we open just one J6 present? Please! I don't know. Please! Have you since been good all year? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! I've been good! All right. <laughs> you can open one J6 present, and then it's off to bed. Yay! Remember, kids, the insurrection fairy is always watching you. We know! <laughs> now open your presents! I don't want this! What's the insurrection fairy bring you? It's a job application! Application in years. Sorry. Adam, what did you get? Hot dogs and pasta. Adam gets everything. Me and Liz got screwed. Yeah, me and Adam did everything you told us to, and we still got the shot. Hey, you kids need to be more thankful. There's poor kids in America who can't even afford food. Sorry. Now off the bed. But Nancy, we forgot to leave the vodka and ice cream out for the insurrection fairy. I'm way ahead of you. The impact what happened. On July the 6th, had international repercussions beyond what I think any of you can fully understand. Merry insurrection to all, and let's impeach Trump tonight. <laughs> Happy July 6th, everybody! The United Spot! <laughs> all right, convicts, it's count time! I need all you prisoners to stand up! <laughs> Ray Epps? Prisoner Ray Epps, please stand up in your cell. It's chow time. Hmm, that's weird. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here. <laughs> Prisoner Hillary Clinton. Hello, Prisoner Clinton. It's chow time. Hmm, that's strange. Hunter Biden. Hello, Prisoner Hunter Biden. Are you in here? Prisoner Hunter Biden, come out of your cell. It's chow time. <laughs> Something fishy is going on around here. Sorry, I like totally forgot to shower. Prisoner Barack Obama, stand up. It's count time. Prisoner Barack Obama. Where the hell is everybody? Bill Clinton. Hello, Prisoner Bill Clinton. It's count time. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here either. <laughs> everybody on Jeffrey Epstein's client list. Stand up. It's count time. Did you hear me? I said everyone on Jeffrey Epstein's client list. Stand up. <laughs> There's got to be an explanation for this. Where the hell is everybody? Did you finish counting the prisoners? I guess. <laughs> There's nobody here. That's weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Well, 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 what? Trump's tax returns? Yeah, about that. <laughs> um, it, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad like we finally got him? Not exactly. Is it pretty bad like we almost got him? I wouldn't say that either. <laughs> well, how bad is it? Yeah, I need to know. What did they say? I'm not sure you're ready for this since, um, <laughs> quite honestly, I'm... 
Not sure America is ready for this. <laughs> Tell us, Nancy! Yeah, I have to know! Well... Go on! Donald Trump's tax returns... Yeah, Donald Trump's tax returns... Prove beyond a reasonable doubt... Prove beyond a reasonable doubt what? Yeah, what do they prove? I have to know! Tell me! Well, I'm not really sure how to say this, but um... What is it, Nancy? Yeah, what is it? Donald Trump's tax returns prove that he has ties to America. No! That's not all. It's not? No, it gets worse. What? We also found out that Donald Trump... Yeah? He pays what he owes. No! Put yourself together. We need damage control immediately. Okay. okay? Adam, I need six new lies by 12 o'clock. Okay. Actually, make that 12 new lies by 6 o'clock. Done. What do you want me to do? Chuck, I need you to get on every news station and tell everyone that having ties to America and paying what you owe is racist. Done. What are you going to do? I'm going to do what I do best. <laughs> Drink? No. Eat ice cream? No. Money laundering? No. I'm going to start a smear campaign. <laughs> hey, Nancy, Chuck, Adam. When are you going to show your taxes? <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hey, Gorbachev. H how was your flat? It was okay. Until some bald guy with lipstick stole my luggage. Yeah, welcome to America. Hey, thanks for dressing up, little buddy. I wore my good pajamas. Well, you look great. Thank you. Yeah, you're so cute. I, I, I just want to roll you up in a little ball and put you in my pocket. Hey, uh, what? where's my money? Uh, uh, the check's in your hand, and, and here's your big bag of money. Where's the rest of it? Oh, don't worry about it. I, I got my IRS officers working on it right now. I need more money, Joe. All right, all right, I'll get it to you as soon as it's done in the dryer. Are you okay to walk, Joe? Uh, yeah, I mean, as long as there's no stairs and I'm not riding a bike, I should be okay. <laughs> well, where are we going? Uh... I have no idea. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Ask him if he wants to buy one of my paintings. All right, all right. Hey, uh, uh you, you want to buy one of my son's paintings? Of course. This money's not going to launder itself. Oh, man, it's cold in here. Throw another constitution on the fire. That's a good idea. What is this? I, I got you a gift, buddy. But what is it? Uh, it's, it's a lodge coat. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I could use this. Keep, Keep America, America broke. broke. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. We have breaking news. The twice impeached President Donald Trump's son, Donald Jr., viciously assaulted a group of innocent victims in an elevator just seconds ago. Breaking news. Donald Trump's criminal son, Donald Jr., assaults a crowd of people. Investigations are underway as the world waits in fear. Breaking news. President Biden has just declared a state of emergency as the manhunt for Donald Trump Jr. continues. A candlelight vigil will be held tonight in memory of the survivors. It was horrible. Um, I mean, what, what kind of society are we living in when you can't let me get into an elevator without being burnt, John? You can tell he was on a mission. He just stood there and burnt. People like that belong in prison. From what I remember, it sounded like a Russian burp. I'm like a survivor. But I almost died. And I think he was staring at my butt. He so wanted to date me. What kind of monster would do something like this? I blame his father. They both belong in prison. This is truly the darkest day in American history. You don't want to know what we went through. Donald Trump Jr.? Yeah? FBI, you're under arrest. Breaking news! Elevator terrorist Donald Trump Jr. has been arrested and charged with assault. The district attorney is pushing for the death penalty. And in other news, Hunter Biden made another amazing video. Way to go, buddy. Today we're talking with President Donald Trump. Hello, Nancy. Oh, my God. Is it really you? Yeah, it's me, Nancy. I can dream come true. I mean, I feel like I'm at your prom. Okay. I miss you so much. You all right? <sighs> it's like I can still smell you. What? Oh, I've missed your much. Uh, Starting to sweat here. <laughs> so moist. Maybe we should do this another time. How come you haven't returned my text messages? Are you being serious? Yes, I'm being serious. I've called you multiple times and left your messages. I haven't sent you emails. <coughs> Excuse me. And you never responded. Am I being punked here? What? So, um, you're on True Social now? Yep, I'm on True Social. And, uh, it's going really, really good. Number one app That's out great, there. That's great, but, um, what, why haven't you followed me back? Why haven't I what? You, you haven't followed me on True Social. I didn't even know you had a true social account. Well, I, I don't yet, but I do plan on getting a true social account if you promise to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to follow you, squirt bottle. <laughs> Why not? I mean, was it something I said? Was, 
What did I do to make you so distant from me? I, I can think of a few things. What? Impeachment thing? You're getting warm. <laughs> I, I just did that to get your attention, Donald. <laughs> Donald, listen. Let's run away together. We can get married and share a true social account and live happily ever after. I, I gotta get going, Nancy. This was, uh... Will you call me when you get home? Uh, no. No, well, I'm not gonna call you. follow me back on true social? Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> For the crime of treason, I sentence you to life in prison. Big guy, life in prison? <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to prison! <laughs> Why me? <laughs> I need help! Hey, Obama. Uh, what's up? Hey, man, I, I, I need your help. Uh, what do you need, Joe? Well, uh, they're, they're sending me to prison for life, and uh. I need you to make me tough. All right, Joe. Prison school starts today. Where are we? We're on the prison yard. Wow! So this is prison! I, I think I'm gonna like it here! Hey, baby! Hey, uh, Barack, what are you doing? I'm not Barack! I'm Michelle! You're Michelle? Mm-hmm. All right, Joe, uh, the hardest part of prison is pooping in front of other people. Hey, what happened to Michelle? Concentrate, Joe. Take a poop. I'm nervous. I, I don't know if I can. Just relax, Joe. You can do it. Oh, uh, all right, I feel something. Oh, damn it, it went back in! Remember to breathe, Joe. Oh, here it comes. I, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm pooping in front of people! You did it, Joe. I'm uh. proud of you. I should have pulled my pants down. Oh, man, do I, do I got to wipe in front of everybody, too? Uh, yeah, Joe. Oh, man, wiping is more embarrassing than pooping. Joe, shut up and wipe. Ah. All right, Joe, nobody messes with big guys in prison, so we got to bulk you up. But how are we going to do that? Ah, you smell like cigarettes. Uh, that's right, Joe. Feel the burn. Ah, you smell like an ashtray in Vaseline. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, Joe. Pump it up. <laughs> hey, man, this is kind of weird. Uh, what's weird, Joe? This, it, this is weird. It's not weird, it's... Two guys working out. <laughs> well, I think it moved. Moved? Oh, that's normal. <laughs> it is? Yeah, Michelle's moves all the time. Hey, I forgot to ask you, uh, what, uh, 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 what kind of ice cream do they serve in prison? Ice cream? <laughs> they don't serve ice cream. Ah! Hi, I'm Joe Biden. You know, your favorite president? <laughs> the guy who got more votes than Obama? The president that's better than Washington, Lincoln, Reagan, and Trump put together? The guy who raised gas prices, inflation, and minimum wage? The man responsible for emptying grocery store shelves and keeping that border wide open? The dictator who single-handedly laundered more money than Scrooge McDuck has got a major announcement just for you. For a limited time only, America will finally be able to see all of my accomplishments. That's right. For the first time in American history, I'm doing something that no one has ever done before. I'm selling trader cards. And for the low, low price of just $500 each, you can have one of my amazing collectible trader cards for only five payments of just $1,400. That's cheaper than the 2020 election. But wait, that's not all. For just a measly extra 400 bucks, you can get three of my trader cards absolutely free with only four payments of just $600. That's a 25 cent value for only 1700 bucks. And because these babies are coming from China, I'm throwing a booster absolutely free with only two payments of just $600. That's a $14 value for only 1200 bucks. Finally, America will be able to hold all of my accomplishments in the palm of their hands. Get one before they're all gone. Trade them with friends or sell them to other countries for $500,000 a piece. With my new Joe Biden trader cards, the sky's the limit. Get yours today! And now, a man that needs no introduction, Mr. 81 million votes, the best president in the universe, Joe Biden! Hey, where am I? Do I keep my mask on or take it off? Thanks for being on the show, Joe! Hey, thanks, Johnny Carson! It's Jimmy! Hey, is it alright if I fart in here? Wow! Look at that crowd! There's gotta be at least 10 people up there. Hey, there's Jill's husband. It's great to have you on the show, Joe. What? What do you say? I said it's great. Can somebody turn the clapping machine off? Oh, that's better. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, you know, it's, it's been going good. And, um, Hunter's doing great. So, Joe, how's the Build Back Better going? Well, Merv Griffin, it's, uh, it, it's been going good. Um, wor worst approval rating in history. But, uh, <laughs> but gas prices are up, uh, grocery shelves are empty, and... People are genuinely unhappy. Why are they so mad? You want to know why they're mad, Jerry Springer? I do. Because it's all Trump's fault. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. 
What's the deal? <laughs> yeah, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's like that. That's awesome, Joe. Uh, uh, you know what's awesome, Jay Leno? It's Jimmy. <laughs> Mayonnaise and peanut butter in the same jar. Joe, I'm going to ask you a serious question. A uh, pre-approved question, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Joe. All right, Joe, this is what you've been training for. No cards engaged. Joe, how do you? Uh, I'd like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> I'm not done, I, I, I Joe. Mean, I, can I phone a friend? or? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> Joe, how do you start? Uh, what is tapioca pudding? Joe, you're the best president ever! Yeah, I know. How do you do it, Joe? Well, I mean, it's simple, really, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> uh, it, it's like you pour the water, and, and then the bathtub in the sink on the toilet in the basement next to the upstairs kitchen has a button. And uh, that's, uh, that's on the ceiling fan next to the front yard in the warehouse next to the microphone. <laughs> and that's where you find the thermos. And that is how time travel is possible. <laughs> Miss Pelosi, to the best of your knowledge, tell us what happened that day. I remember like it was yesterday. I was doing what I always do, caring for America. Hello, kind sir. How can I help you? You can start by giving me all your money. This is MAGA country. We were horrified. He kept screaming, this is MAGA country. He made us read the Constitution and ah! he tried to inject everyone with bleach. I thought I was going to die. He poured bleach on me and made me say the Pledge of Allegiance. I just wanted to order a Diet Coke. <laughs> so there I was. Riding my bike to the Capitol, when all of a sudden... You're all under my control! He said if we didn't do what he wanted, his best friend Ray Epps was gonna pay us all a visit. Do what I say, or I swear I'm gonna call my best buddy Ray Epps! I never felt so helpless before. I felt like I stepped on a bee. I could barely move, but I knew I had to do something. So I took the law into my own hands. Hey, punk! What? Put the bleach down and get out of here! Who's gonna make me? Me! That's who! Oh yeah? Yeah! You in what army? This army! Yeah! I like almost died that day! Get out and stay out! Alright, I'm sorry. I'll leave. Yeah, you better leave! He was totally trying to date me. Damn racist! <laughs> so? Did he leave? Yeah, he left. And then he stole the limousine. And screamed, this is MAGA country, while he did donuts on the front lawn. This is MAGA country! It was the darkest day in American history. I'd like to welcome everyone to our first Trump derangement group. Oh, oh my gosh, you said it! I can't breathe! Oh, I can't breathe! Oh, oh, God, take me hey, away! I need everybody to breathe, okay? I can't even breathe! Oh. I'm gonna pass out! Where am I? What's going on? I hate Trump! Alright, enough! This is Trump Derangement Group and Mean Sweet Therapy. <laughs> We're here to get better, people, alright? We're here to work on our goals. <laughs> okay, but like when you said Trump's name, I almost died! Oh great, now I said Trump's name! Jinx, buy me a Coke! Help! This group isn't helping! It's only making it worse! Now I can't stop thinking about Trump! I hate Trump! I made a bear! All right, everybody, relax, okay? Take a deep breath. I'll go first. Ew, it smells like cow farts in here. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, everybody. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh, uh, I hate Trump! I almost died again. Now, everyone pull out your vision board. Hey, you see? Would you like to start first? <laughs> um, okay, like, so here's, like, my vision board or, like, whatever. Okay, so like here's a garbage disposal, and here's a crouton, and here's lint from my pocket. And here is a picture of me. Alexandria, um, a vision board is supposed to have things that make you happy. Well, I didn't know it was going to be a test. Anyways, um, Hillary, would you like to go next? Well, my vision board is Trump getting arrested, here's Trump going to jail, here's Trump going to prison, and here's Trump getting the chair. Nice job, Hillary. <laughs> Liz, would you like to share next? Okay. Here's Maxine Waters saying, Pitch 45. Here's Maxine Waters saying, Pitch 45 again. And here is Maxine Waters saying, Pitch 45. I hate Trump. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, would you like to share this? These are the things that make me happy. High gas prices, high inflation, poor people, and lots of money. Elizabeth. Did you copy my vision board? <laughs> so it was a test. Anyways, this concludes our first Trump arrangement and mean sweet service room. <laughs> now, if you'll join me in prayer, keep blaming Trump, because it works on stupid people. <laughs> Democratic control, permission to land. 
Yeah! You should not have permission to land. What's going on, Pop? They're not letting me land. Typical Democrats. <laughs> Whatever you do, you don't let him land. Really, Joe? You really think I'm gonna let him land? Attention, everyone. We're having a slight delay, but our pilot, Donald Trump, is taking care of it. Hey! Democratic control! What do you want, Trump? I'm landing with or without your permission. That's what you think. Is there any way to shut this man up? I can. <laughs> I can too. <laughs> Please do. Ooh, He's a very bad man. I know, yeah. right? He's such He's a racist. He's the worst. Him out. Do not let that plane land. Seriously? Settle Joe. down, Joe. Yeah, settle down, Joe. Joe. Who the hell's Joe? Oh. I hope that plane crashes. Oh, I hope it crashes oh, right to the ground. Oh, me right? too. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I hope it's loud. The story. Are you okay? I hope that plane crashes right into a building. Honey. Come on, don't get in your face. Honey. Yes. That's that's disgusting. Cool. Honey, settle down. Just like Bill. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I can't wait to report oh, it's gonna on this. it's going to be super amazing. Oh, it's going to be super amazing because oh, fake, fake news is the best. Fake news is the best. Totally. Oh, I hope that plane go right into the ground. You want this plane to crash? Well, of course I want it to crash. It was built by slaves. I was going to say, if you didn't, if you didn't want this plane to crash, then you ain't black. Oh damn, Joe! They smell like balls. Did someone say balls? All right, let's land this plane. Shrub, do not land that plane. Joe, do not let that plane Sweet. land. It's not going to Sweetie. land. It's gonna land. Gonna come over here, honey. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. it. Hashtag not my pilot. <laughs> Michael! Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta say, you look pretty good in orange. <laughs> Today is a sad day in America. Mm-hmm. I can't stop crying. This is all Trump's fault. It's all Trump's fault. Michael Avenetti is the Holy Spirit. It's all Trump's fault. Oh, Michael, are you okay? I'm fine. You know what I'm talking about? It's gonna be okay. Is there anything I can do, baby? Hey, I need you to smile, Brian. <laughs> all right? I can't stop crying. Yeah, me neither. I want to come and visit you right now. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this is happening. Michael, if you can hear me, mm -hmm. don't give up. Nope. You're still going to be president. That's right. You're the savior of the republic. I have to see you. All right, all right. Settle down, Brian. <laughs> I can't. I need to hold you. I can't breathe. Hey, we're going to get through this together, all right? Hey, Stormy, it's Michael. Hey, uh, sorry for what I did, all right? Will you marry me? Don't worry, Michael. I'm gonna get you out of here. Yeah, you be strong for me, all right, Brian? All right? I can still smell you. Yeah, don't you give up on me, all right? I'm gonna be right here. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Oh, by myself. Don't wanna be all oh, by myself. Shower time. And action. We gotta call for help. Call the fire department! Cut! 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 What was wrong with that? Mom, you gotta put on your wig! Oh. <laughs> and action! We gotta call for help! Call the fire department! Cut! 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 Now what? You're supposed to say we need to call the National Guard! <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, Mom, just read your script and do it just okay. like you rehearsed. We have to make this look real. Alright, guys. Let's do this! Alright! Wait. Were we wearing masks in 2020? Obviously, Nancy! I'm just making sure I want this to be perfect. <laughs> I don't want to wear a mask. All right, guys, insurrection, take two. And action! We gotta call for help! Call the National Guard! This is all Trump's fault. Nancy, you should call the governor or the mayor. You're right, Chuck. I should call the governor or the mayor. Yes, um, wait, um, who, who is the governor and the mayor in 2020? <laughs> God damn it, Nancy! Cut! What? What I do? Mom, you want people to believe this video is from January 6th. Read your script. Sorry about that, Um, Still got a little hangover. Come on, Nancy. <laughs> read your script. All right, Mom. Let's try it again. All right. And action. Nancy, you should call the governor or the mayor. You're right, Chuck. I I'm going to call whoever was governor and mayor in 2020. Cut. I got to say charge. No. I got to say charge. You're, you're saying it wrong, this Nancy. It's all Trump's fault. Now it's up to me. Mom, um, you have to sound more uh, believable. What are you talking about? That sounded perfect. So Mom, I'm a documentary filmmaker. I know all what right, I'm doing. Right. <laughs> this uh, is hard. I'm, I don't know how the Kardashians do this every week. This scene has to be perfect. Okay. Well, let's practice it one more time just to be safe. We're coming in if you don't bring her out. God, cut, cut, Nancy, cut. you don't say that. The Trump supporters do. Oh, sorry. And okay. action. We're coming in if you don't bring her out. That's it. 
I'm calling the secretary of the effing Department of Defense. Oh my gosh, Chuck. Hey, I'm in goosebumps. Sounded so real. Great hey, job, Chuck. Acting lessons have actually been paying off. <laughs> Paul? Paul! What? 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 I'm trying to sleep. Oh, you're not. I see you. Huh? You're checking out all the whores on the beach. No, no, I'm not, Nancy. I swear. Yeah, right. <laughs> you haven't looked at me once. I I'm looking at you right now. <sighs> you're not looking at me, Paul. Okay? You don't even notice me anymore. I'm wearing this sexy bikini for you. Ugh. Don't you think I'm sexy, Paul? I, I just got a lot going on right now, Nancy. I oh, what? Your GUI? Yeah. I already told you. I took care of it. It's not that, though. It's... it's... Then what is it, Paul? Uh, Am I not sexy enough for you? Uh, is my skin not sexy enough for you? Uh, Are my eyebrows not high enough for you like your Instagram whores? I don't even use Instagram, Nancy. That's right. You use Pornhub. Uh, you don't think I know what you're doing in the bathroom? Well, I, I don't do anything. I, That's uh, a lie. What? I hear you. The whole neighborhood hears you. What? You want to sound on yourself with your chastation boner pills? No, no I don't. I, I don't. And, and, and what about your strip clubs, Paul? What? Huh? And the massage parlors? Wait, what? Is that what you like? What, what are you talking about? Oh, you think I didn't know? <laughs> well, no, what? I know what you like, Paul. What? You like it here. You're a dirty birdie, Paul. No, I'm not. Just I'm not. face it. I'm just a wrinkled up old prune. No, you're not. Uh, hey, come to me, Paul. Take me right here, uh, right now, in front of everyone. Prove your love for me. Come on, Paul. What are you waiting for? So moist. Don't <laughs> uh, I, uh, I turn boy. you on? What's wrong, Paul? Take me to bed or lose me forever. <laughs> I, I, I'm just really tired right I now. Knew it. You've lost that loving feeling. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. <laughs> I'm gonna puke, Nancy. Peasants? <laughs> hey! Eyes up here, pervert! I see you eyeballing my goodies. Stop looking at my bazoombas! <laughs> they belong to Paul. Well, they used to belong to Paul. Nowadays, he doesn't even notice them at all. He hasn't touched them or looked at them in years. He only cares about his Instagram horse. He never looks at me. He's always drunk. He never has time for me. He never touches me. We never talk. He sleeps on the couch and when he comes to bed, he sleeps on the floor. He never comes home and when he does, all he wants to do is watch Pornhub. He won't kiss me because he says my gentry smell weird. It's not my fault my gentry smell weird. He stopped smelling my farts. Paul used to love smelling my farts. He used to say, oh my gosh, your farts smell so good. I miss those days. I stopped wearing the pants because Paul said that wearing the pants is gross. But he didn't even notice. He just walked in the door and said, ew, it smells like sitting here. I'm so embarrassed. I tried so hard, but... Nothing is ever good enough for him. I have to drink vodka all day just to feel normal. All he says is, Hey Nancy, what's wrong with your eyebrows? Hey Nancy, why do you smell like mushrooms? Or, Hey Nancy, your makeup looks like cake frosting. Or, Hey Nancy, I'm gonna throw up. I don't deserve this. I wanna cry, but I can't because of the Botox. I just want a man that loves the smell of my sensors. A man that accepts my dependence and enjoys the smell of my moist, juicy farts. I'm so alone. Anyways, I gotta get back to my extremely expensive vacation in Italy. <laughs> Please send me money so I can fight for women's rights. Good night, peasants! That should be me up there! Get off the seat! Uh. Hey, Gambler, you ain't the only one that can blow! Well, I was tallying up the votes the other night, and something just didn't seem right. So I called up my lawyers, and we wrote a song about it. And the song goes like this. Nobody cares, Trump! Joe Biden, you're an asshole, and you work dead in your whole life. Asshole rhymes with Biden, because you're an asshole tonight. Bartender! Can I get a drink? Cause you're an A S S H O L E, and don't you try to blame it on me. You deserve all the credit. You're an asshole tonight. You were an asshole yesterday. That's right. You're an asshole tonight, and I got a feeling. You'll be an asshole the rest of your life. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't over. We're going to hell and back to win this fight. Hell, I deserve eight more years for this, but I'm not.
not giving up on you, America. So don't you give up on me. Joe Biden, you're an asshole. You tried to steal this election, but we're not going to let you get away with it. I'm going to drain the swamp. <laughs>